All right, let's look at 1.3. Many music artists use their own vehicles to travel to and perform at music concerts. They are advised to spend 25% or less of their gross monthly income on monthly repayments for a vehicle. Table two shows the price of a vehicle, the monthly repayment and the gross monthly income required to qualify for vehicle financing. Okay, price of a car, how much you have to pay per month, Right? They didn't say how many months you pay for, but that's obviously not important for the question. So don't get stuck on stuff like that. Then your gross income. So basically, what do you have to get per month? How much of that do you need to pay? And what do you get when you pay this amount? Okay. Right. Let's go and do these questions. 1.3.1. Define the term gross monthly income. Right? Well, not a difficult one. It is your income. Let me make sure you can see there. Great, um, 1.3.1, it is income received, um, or income earned, it's probably a better way, income earned before deductions, okay? And we know, if you have done maths for any length of time, that that's quite important to note when we do tax questions, right? So knowing the difference between taxable income and gross income, key piece of information when doing MathLit. If you don't know what that is, go and look at one of my tax videos and that should help you out. Let's then look at 1.3.2. Complete the following statement. An artist with a gross average monthly income of 83,409 Rand qualifies for a vehicle priced at dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now, monthly income, this person would be sitting kind of in between these two. Okay. Now, they don't earn this much, so we know that they don't qualify there. They earn a bit more than this. It's fine. It means that they qualify here. Remember, highlighters is a key um, tool when you do math, just to help you see where you're at. So that's where they're at. So that would be the monthly income. That would be the monthly repayment, and that would be the price of the car. So the car would be priced at a million rand. 1.3.2. And put that in there. You can also just write it out. But in general, I would just say a million rand. Okay. Let's flip over. And do our last question for this video. 1.3.3. Round off. Okay. Remember, we've done quite a bit of rounding already in this paper. So you should be getting quite comfortable with it. Round off the monthly repayment of a vehicle costing 2,000 rand to the nearest I mean, 2 million rand, sorry, you see, to the nearest thousand. So the monthly repayment for this is this amount, okay? Because the vehicle is 2 million, the monthly repayment is 41,610 rand and 78 cents. If we round it off to the nearest thousand, well, nearest thousand, we know here's my thousands. This is where my hundred starts. So we look at the six, we say, well, the six is above five. We're going to round up. So if we round off our monthly repayment, 42,000 Rand. Okay, because that's what it means. You want a whole number. When I say by a whole number, I mean you want a whole thousand number, right? 42,000. That is the nearest thousand to that number, right? 41,000 is not closer to this number than 42,000. Very important. Okay, that's how it's done for, with the whole of question one. Let's now go and start question two.